Hey everybody, what's going on? Hey, look at this old picture I have of my old race bike. 1981. Honda 750F. Bought that bike brand new. Made a few modifications as you can see. Pretty much stock motor right there. This is actually my first race right here. At Laguna Seca, that's coming off turn 9. Pretty cool. Started like that. Ended up like this. After five years of racing it. You know, I didn't have money to buy new bikes and stuff, so I put all my money into the bike. I'm an in, I was an engineer, you know, mechanical engineer, so I I built all the stuff, all the cool shit for it. That's an HRC race motor right there. I bought it from uh, this guy named John Bettencourt. No, Gary Bettencourt. He was uh, a support rider for Team Honda. So that's an HRC uh, 751 motor built by Casio Yushima. My first pro race right here. That my first pro race, that was a motor I built myself. Uh, Makuni carburetors. I had a, a, a Bub Enterprises sponsorship. Bub, Bub Enterprises, uh, the guy's name was Dennis Manning. He's like a world record holder for motorcycles, um, land speed motorcycles. He's like 465 miles an hour or something like that. Well, that's my first professional road race. Well, there was 43 people started and I came in 18th. That's me right there. Right, right at the A. Actually, I come, I'm coming off the A. I'm accelerating off the apex right there. Willow Springs. That's the starting grid of Willow Springs. This is, this is before the, the starting of the race right here. And this was. Um, the uh, the start. You can see we're just getting ready to, to get rolling. <laughs> but I did all that gig. And it's all ego stuff. Today Today's my ego clearing day. So I'm going over all the old... Not all of it. I mean, I raced go-karts and um, I built a dragster. and I, you know, I did a lot of stuff when I was younger. Um, but then I got in professional bass fishing. That fish right there... That was a nine pounder. And this one was nine and a half. I actually had big fish in the event uh, on the, in that tournament. I was sponsored by Castaway Fishing Rods and uh, Rebel. A bunch of, had a bunch of, a bunch of sponsorships. That was my first 10 pounder. I caught that on a float tube at 10, like 10.30 at night with a full moon shining. It's beautiful, man, watching that fish leap out of the water. You know, at night in the moonlight, it was freaking cool. And then, and then I caught this fish. It's a twelve six five, twelve pounds point six five. That's my Ranger forty eight. And that's the fish. And I took it to the. Uh, it was in the live well. I didn't hurt the fish. But I took it to the hook, line, and sinker in Antioch, California, because I fished the River Delta. Uh, the Delta River chain, I guess I should say. And. uh there's the big boy. 13.15. Beautiful fish. I caught that fish and that fish within 50 feet of each other. Caught this fish on uh, Good Friday, like in uh, 2002. And I caught that fish December 29th, the end of that year. 50 feet away from where I caught that fish. Oh, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I'm I'm doing some clearing. And I'm kind of kind of going over all my old, a bunch of old ego stuff because that's what I'm working on now in my um, my ascension thing, I guess you can say. Um, so I'm going through some real strange stuff. I know I, I told you guys about it. Um, I uh, you know I was building a lot of flutes. You've seen in one of my other videos, right? I, I was building a lot of flutes and stuff, and and. Uh, the video cut off before I was able to 
to film it you know so I'll show you my new flute that I made it's out of PVC plastic uh, I messed up on where the holes get placed and stuff but oops but they're but they're you know it's pretty good so uh, here let me thrill you with a tune <coughs> I got a little ambiance for you here so you guys you know so you guys feel the mood and stuff hope you like that okay here, here let me throw you let me throw you some more okay I screwed that up hang on Okay, well, I'm not so good, but you know, I, it's not a very good flute. Okay, I'm kidding you. I bought this new flute. Look at it. It's called a, a, a High Spirits Golden Eagle. That's a golden eagle. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's it, man. This thing is really, really cool. And I'll tell you, you know, I, I told you guys, I'm going through some really strange stuff, man. And part of the strange strangeness is, is that I don't want to do anything except play this flute, meditate, and watch Infowars.com. <laughs> but that's it. I'm just, uh, I'm aspiring to be, uh, something greater than just a single component man I know it's there and I guess I'm on some kind of a journey here but uh, I just like to keep myself grounded you know and I like to share with you guys and today is all about just casting aside the ego um, I didn't to pull some guy out of his truck <laughs> He just, uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, you can, you can feel um, connected, you can feel the love, you know, but it, it doesn't make us any less prone um, to the ignorance around us. And, and I think that's going to be the biggest challenge for me is to get rid of the, the ego, you know, and I, I didn't get out or nothing, but I uh, wasn't very nice to the guy, you know, and, and I probably should have been more <sighs> compassionate, maybe uh, yielding, you know, uh, bowing, uh, giving in, whatever. You know, that's what I need to do, and that's kind of what I'm doing here today. I'm just meditating, trying to uh, figure out what I got to do to get get myself better connected on a more consistent basis so anyway I just thought I'd share that with you guys it's more of a thing for me but I'm gonna send it out and hopefully somebody uh, somebody's going through the same thing maybe it'll maybe it'll just make somebody else think you know if you watch the video and you kinda maybe have the same kinda thing you're going through it's, it's just so much better just to bow just to give in to the ego it's just gonna you know, put us closer to God or source our creator whatever and uh, every time we screw up and we want to grab somebody pop somebody whatever you know that's gonna drop us back a couple steps and, and we gotta we gotta maintain the, the path you know so so that's it man stay on the herbs and stay on the healthy food and uh, be mindful be mindful of uh, what you do and what you say. 
how it affects people. So that's it. You guys, uh, you guys be good. I'll talk to you guys later.